Hi, I'm Andrew Henderson. And I'm Darby Campbell, and contrary to popular belief, I am female. That's the first shocker. However, the most groundbreaking news for this week is we made it an actual entire week of school. Despite an hour delay on Wednesday, we actually made it through an entire week. And what an exciting week it's been. Am I right, Darby? Oh, yes, you are, Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> Throughout the day Monday, we were greeted with a lack of internet for, the most, for most of the day. This made life difficult, especially for those of us with a struggling internet addiction. I know I've been addicted to the internet for many years now. Have you, Darby? Two. Two whole years? Two whole years. Man, that's rough. Yeah. Tuesday, we had a surprise snowstorm in late March. And what a surprise it was. Yes. Seeing as here in the eastern part of the United States, we've been in winter since October. Hopefully we can finally make it out of winter and transition into spring, or at least an early sweltering summer. Now, Darby and I are going to jump to conclusions. We at the Comet's Tale have learned over the years, facts are facts, and facts need to be checked for accuracy. If you don't have the necessary facts, please refrain from the following actions. Spreading rumors. Posting rumors on Twitter. Starting or attempting to start public events. Engaging in comments arguments on Facebook. Postponing said public events. Making false accusations. Screaming about things that are untrue as if they are true when they are not. So remember kids, when you jump to conclusions, just don't. Facts are key, so remember, always have them. On Thursday here at West Carter, we had our annual blood drive, but this year's blood drive was especially eventful. Yeah, that's right. This year we had a record-breaking 51 pints of blood donated, and kudos to those brave people who donated twice. Now before talking about what happened Friday, we're going to talk about sports. The boys baseball team is currently 4-0 this season, but our girls softball team is just taking some time to warm up. We can be sure that they'll completely annihilate the competition after this short break. Our tennis team won six of their nine matches last or at Thursday night's meet. Congrats to all the teams. On Friday, the power went out. But then it soon came back on. It was eventful. It was dark. There were sombreros. Not for everyone. Just a few. Have more on this when more happens. We sign off for this week. We want to talk about some other things really quick. First of all, we're having a poetry contest. Submit any original writings to myself, Andrew Henderson, or Miss Johnson in room 105. Or email us at westcarter.journalism at carter.kyschools.us. This week at West, the promposal epidemic has taken over. We've had several reported sightings of promposals, and we even have photographic evidence to back this up. So, if you'd like some help asking that special someone to an awkward high school social event, then drop by room 105 here in Miss Johnson's room, and we'll get your promposal on our next broadcast. Maybe you'll go viral on the internet, but it's also equally likely that you won't. Remember to follow us on Twitter at The Comet's Tale and like The Constellation Chronicles on Facebook. Remember, students. No matter how eternal your ideas and beliefs may be, they won't outlive at least one jellyfish. It like, it's like a phoenix. It like starts out as a pole. Okay, you want to explain this, Ashley? Or? So it yes. fire. Fire. No, 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 no. Are you going to? Okay. I'm still recording this. No, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> But it starts out, it's like born and it starts out in its polyp stage and then it turns, it, it grows into an adult and then like its biology or for some reason like turns it back into its polyp stage so it can it's theoretically live forever. We don't have any way to like experiment with this. Like unless they just assign someone to watch this one jellyfish for all of the time. So